Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hi Dev back with some blessings, bliss, peace, good energy. <clears throat> so, quick video on how I like to raise my vibration. How personally I raise my vibration, how I raise my frequency is I begin the next day with a meditation. So before I go into sleep, I start a little meditation. You could call it a basking. Some people call it basking yourself to sleep. Is you're preparing your consciousness to sleep. You're preparing your DNA to sleep, right? The DNA is instructions. Instructions to adjust and articulate, amplify, or rearrange our DNA. Epigenetics, right? So consciousness, I meditate, I get in tune with my consciousness, I get in tune with my subconscious, my conscious mind, right? I get into the gamma, I get into the delta, deep breathing. In this way, you could rearrange and instruct your DNA, right? So one simple command, instead of constantly Think of it as a manager, right? You're managing your own DNA. You're managing your own consciousness, your own vibration, right? Are you going to listen to a manager that constantly barks at you, that constantly barks at you without giving you the tools to succeed, without giving you the correct path, without is just constantly yelling out? Or are you gonna take better heed and instruction if it's in a calm matter where it's strong, it's firm, assertive, and you know it's coming from a loving place, a caring place, right? A place because you care about your body, you care about your consciousness, and you're aware. So this is coming from a vibration of awareness versus a vibration of urgency or lack. So. The vibration of lack comes from the whole like, I need this, I need this, I want this, this is, has to happen, has to happen, has to happen. Desire, lack, right, destitute, you know. But when it's coming from a, I am, I will, so be it. You're not forcing anything to happen. You're not controlling, you're not anticipating your being and last time i checked we're human beings not human doings right our resume perceives ourselves as human doings and these are our human doings but to even do we have to be first so when you're setting your tone of your vibration your consciousness your energy your dna you're setting the tone with i am I am, that's the consciousness. Matter, influencing matter. Your matter, your vibration, your DNA, your molecular, uh, molecular structure. You are influencing these things by the training of your own consciousness, the training of your own mind. It's great to exercise the body. It's great to ingest good food, plant-based, vegan, meat, um, car carnivorous diets, um, omni uh, omnivorous diets, these things are great, but what is greater is to command and be in control of your own consciousness. And I don't mean in control like control, but knowing your consciousness, what you feed into your consciousness, what you program into your mind, right? Let's say if you have a computer and you want that computer to operate at a certain frequency to operate at a certain you know method and you're not gonna feed it random shit right you're gonna give it specific things because you're instructing this computer so if you want your body to operate on a higher frequency you instruct it by eating higher frequency foods listening to higher frequency things doing higher frequency things believing and accepting higher receiving higher frequency 
high vib high, uh, higher vibrating information and data, right? So, and this is how we as a collective and individually, it starts within first, how we can become better at being human, better at taking care of our planet, better about caring about what feeds the soul, what feeds the spirit first, versus what comforts my flesh, what makes my heart feel, what, 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 what caters to my feelings, you know, and <clears throat> my mental health. Mental health and emotional health are great, but what matters the most is understanding your consciousness, understanding your soul. Once you understand your soul and your consciousness, you have full control over your mental health. You have full control over your emotional and emotional health and your feelings. So start seeing your existence, your vibration as from the level of consciousness, right? The seed of the soul, the pineal gland. <clears throat> Our body is full of chemicals and electricity, right? And also atoms, proteins, all these things, water. So in all these things that I mentioned, which are all matter, what matters the most is consciousness because consciousness is in everything. And if God is consciousness, God is everything. It means that's easy to say, oh yeah, well then we're just everything right well to an extent of course for infinite infinite is everything and anything right but <clears throat> the purpose of humanity is to thrive and to create to flourish to connect and to expand for a lot of times here on our planet held quarantine with each other right no outward influences or connections with other aliens or whatever but as human beings what we've shown to do is to try to conquer each other whether it be socially from the ego from uh financially economically you know uh agriculturally we've warred and pillaged and that's our history as humanity we also have a lot of great history but we've shown that sometimes it's naturally so much more instinctively easier for us to do that that's why they say it's that's why it's called be the bigger person be the greater person right <clears throat> it's easier to take that route versus being the route of what is peaceful what is caring, what is loving, what is nourishing, what helps, what helps you thrive, what helps your family thrive, right? And a lot of things is, it's wholesome to care about your family and to care about your community. But the thing is, we get in this mindset of division and creating division. And that's not unity. That's not full unity. That's not full unconditional humanity, right? Because you start to think, okay, well, everything's good over here. And look what they're doing over there. So we're not part of that, right? Or they're not part of this. So that's causing division. If that mindset is at the, is at not the pinnacle, but at the foundation of anything you create, then you'll always have this division. You'll always have this oh but what if or how about or you know well maybe so it's always good to analyze and to think but at the same time you don't want that to be your you know your your vibration if people will pick that up where you're always thinking like something's out to get or you're out to get or there's always this you know this this thing right so you don't want to create that when you're creating unity when you're creating compassion and part of meditating is to get to that see where it's at heal it it might be a psychological thing it might be an emotional trauma it might be some form of PTSD that you can easily heal by getting in tune with your consciousness getting in tune with 
your meditation, with your focus, right? With the advancements of AI, with the advancements of technology and robotics and, and cybernetics and all these things. Before we plug in and accept some form of advanced technology that merges us with AI and all these things, we need to learn to master our own consciousness. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, folks, if there's gonna be unspeakable things that possibly could happen. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm not creating that. But that possibly could happen if we don't learn how to get in touch with our consciousness, how to understand that we're beings of consciousness first and foremost before anything. Don't say that we're you know, beings of carbon and, and structure and DNA and, 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 um, and just this. Because if you just, if you just see it that, that, then you don't understand how life can be eternal. How you can have eternal life, eternal existence of consciousness, right? And don't let them fool you about how like, oh, well, if you upload your mind and your consciousness with AI, then you're eternal forever. No, 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 no. Consciousness is consciousness eternally. It's not artificial. There's nothing artificial about true consciousness, right? Truth. This is truth. Master your consciousness. Understand that you are an infinite being of infinite consciousness, of love, not control, not conquering, not enslavement. You are beings of creation, of love, of divinity, of consciousness. That's what human humanity is. And when we fail to realize this, we want to adapt or pair with things because we, our nature is fleeting or this is fleeting or, you know, understand everything is within. Everything is within. Even Jesus quoted, a bird doesn't complain, bird doesn't cry, right? Uh, animals don't cry and say, God, how come I don't have this? Or universe, I need this, I need this, I need this. It just bees. And then it's given. It's received. It's not so much that it's given. When your eye is open, when you're awake, then you, you receive. You got to tune in. You got to tune in and tap in within. See, when you, when you tune within, then everything you want is received. You're not looking for anything. You're not striving for anything. You're not like, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Constantly your consciousness is grabbing, trying to pull this, trying to pull this to me, manifest this, manifest this. You don't need to do none of that. You just gotta be still. And then choose what you receive. Because when you're still, you hear all the signals, you receive all the signals, but you choose, you command, and you self-govern what you wanna receive and what you choose to receive and transmit. What we perceive, we transmit. And what we transmit is our consciousness. And what our consciousness transmit is information, visions, electricity, feelings. Why would I take some electricity to pair with my electricity when I know I can amplify my electricity and have it become the greatest electricity. Why? If I know I can upgrade my own consciousness, my own DNA by the planet alone, why would I take something artificial and ingest it? These are the things we need to ask ourselves as awake human beings, right? It's a consciousness revolution, my friends. We have to understand. Consciousness is the way. Meditation is the way. Yoga is the way. Natural, natural is the way. Organic is the way. <clears throat> I'm not saying that like GMO is bad and horrible and all these things are bad or horrible. If you need sustenance, that's what this provides. Right? If you look in America, some people don't starve to death 
because they can beg for a dollar and get a cheeseburger and a, a, a thing of fries and a soda for a dollar. That's a saving a life. That's saving, you know, it might be ingesting some GMOs and hurting themselves, but in the end, they're not dying. Third world poverty, people die. Human beings die. Mothers, fathers, children die because they don't have the ability to ask for a dollar and then go get some rice, you know, or bread or water. So, nothing I'm saying is anti-government, anti-GMO, anti-establishment. It's not that. It's being balanced. It's being awake. It's being truly aware from the seat of compassion and consciousness. And that's where we're headed today, my friends, folks. That's where we're headed. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful time to be aware of this and be alive. And hold to these truths of understanding what you are, what you truly are, you know. You could look in all the books, you could look in all the books, take a look, right? But you need to apply, and to apply at the cellular level, you must meditate, right? It's like they say, you wanna study, you wanna, you don't wanna memorize things. You wanna become, you become by welcoming information. And you have the choice to receive this information or not you have the choice to receive this information or not it's always you there's no force there's no you know governing saying that you have to you have to you have to blah 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 it's all by acceptance and embracing what you choose to receive and what you choose this is not for me this is not the way this is not my way or whatever there's no damnation there's no hell or death or all these things <clears throat> when you go within see you can't let what you see dictate your own inner perception right even though if this is an illusion we're looking everything is congealed light right we influence this with soul, with breath, with consciousness. That's why raising your consciousness is the most important thing. Because, you know, take for example, a figurative example, right? Fictitious, but based in some real science. If you fact check it, Star Wars, the Jedis, what can they do? No robots, no technology, no nothing. Just training of the mind, body, and soul. This is where humanity is getting back towards. And if you notice, there's a technology revolution, and then there's a consciousness hum human being revolution, uh, evolution. So more and more people are saying, no technology, no GMO, organic, raw, natural, da 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 da. Right? Putting the foot down, putting the stake in the ground, drawing the line. That's it, right? Then you have the people that are, you know, doing this. I'm doing the, you know, I got the technology. I'm plugged in. I'm linked in. I'm, I'm tapped up, synced up, whipped up, chipped up, dipped up, all the shit, right? Then they're saying, you got to balance. You got to balance. You got to balance. Don't get caught up in the, <clears throat> I got to balance everything. Know what is for you. Know what is for you. Know what is for your family. Know what is for your circle, right? Your community, your life. But at the same time, always fact check. Always do your own research. Never, never, never rely just on what you read or what you see or what people tell you. Or, oh, I heard, I heard, you know, I heard. Don't never, ever. And if I say don't ever do anything, it's don't ever do that. Always question everything. Always analyze. That is the key 
to having a strong consciousness is meditating. You go within. Because within is where all the answers to anything you'll ever need to know is within. Right? You want to become this, you want to do this, you got to go within. Because if you don't get with right within, within first, you can read all you want, you can study, you can practice all you want, but you'll never, you'll never receive it, or you'll never become it, because you gotta go within. You gotta release. So, that's your boy, Hi Dev. Those are some tips. That's my little spiritual consciousness download rant, verbiage, talkage, you know, sending it out to y'all on the highest. All these speeches and lectures I give come from my downloads, come from my meditations. And I can't really make songs about these. I can't really write them in, in songs, you know. So the best way I can share this is through my vlog channel, is through sharing these downloads. Because the artist in me, the rapper, the singer, the composer, the producer, finds it hard to translate that into music. And that's just me, that's just my personal vessel. There's, there's a million talented, you know, performers and rappers and singers and producers out there that probably could do that. But for me, <clears throat> right now, at this point in my life, on my spiritual journey and my awakening, is that it's easier for me to give these as lectures, to give these as talks, to give these as speeches versus writing them down in a song and making them put a nice catchy little syrupy hook and beat over it. I'd rather make it a song. I'd rather make it a lecture and a video so it could be meditated on and resonated on in truth, not in some type of persuasion or me, my ego, wanting you to accept this as something cool by by hypnotizing you with my song or hypnotizing you with my beat or with that i rather give it to you raw in unedited un unadulterated so you can filter it out yourself and apply it to how apply it the best way it fits your life by giving it to you raw because if i give you if i really want you to grow I'm gonna give you a whole onion and say, okay, you're the artist, you're the creator. This is gonna help your life, but it needs to help the life the way you design it to by creating it. I can say, you can be like, oh, how'd you get that from just the onion? Well, I can't teach you that. I can show you and I can't, and even if I show you, it still won't work for your life because it has to be designed by you because you're the designer. So hopefully all that this helps you and this is today's video. I'll do another video probably later or I'll do another video uh, tomorrow. Of course, daily content. Follow my IG to keep, keep uh, posted up and connect with your cosmic roots, roots. Connect with your galactic nature. You have assistance. There's divine guidance all over this planet, all over the solar system, all over this galaxy. Go within. Peace. Blessings. Follow your bliss. Follow your love. Follow your heart. The highest. <laughs>